Hey folks, thanks for tuning in. You're watching The Buzz. And today we are talking about a specific car washing method that you may be able to use on your Tesla Model 3 or other vehicles during the cold climate season of winter. If you're like me and if you live in a cold climate, it becomes a little difficult to wash your car by hand during these freezing temperatures without the car icing over. So what method can you use or what method have you used? So in this video, I'm going to try a product to see how it works and if it holds up true, if it's something that we can use going forward um, during these months to keep our cars clean as we may not be able to run them through a car wash during these times. And that product is Optimum No Rinse. And um, just to preface this, folks, I am not promoting this product. I am not getting a single penny for this. Um, but it is something that um, drew my attention um, because of its technology. And I've been watching a lot of uh, videos on it, just, you know, getting an overall idea of, you know, how this product works and does it actually work like they say it does. Um, so we're going to, you know, take this time and put this to the test. And just to give you a little bit of insight, if for those of you who are not familiar with this product, um, basically this is a polymer-based product, and what it's supposed to do is that pol those polymers are supposed to are supposed to encapsulate their dirt that's on your vehicle, so that when you're washing it, you are not taking that dirt and grime and salt and everything else that's on your car and scratching it into your paint. It's supposed to lift them up off the paint and as you wipe it, it's supposed to take that, adhere to either the big red sponge or a microfiber um, mitt or whatever it is that you're using to wash your vehicle and safely remove those contaminants from your vehicle so that you're not scratching it. So that, that's great in theory, right? But how well does it work? And is this something that we can use moving forward during these months when we don't have that opportunity to take it to a car wash? Well, in my case, I only like taking my car through a touchless car wash, which doesn't do a great job to begin with. So I certainly don't take it through a car wash that has mitts and, um, you know, the spinning, slapping bristles and all that. Those, those things actually harm your vehicle. So if I can stay away from them, I certainly do. So I was looking for an alternative. And this is only one of many that are out in the market, folks. So you have a plethora of choices. And I'm going to go ahead and try and link some of those down below for you. Um, but I chose this product to give it a test to see how it actually works. Um, so we are going to show you the process um, that you need to do to set up to get uh, ready to wash your car with ONR. Um, but I promise you folks, I am not going to make you sit through and watch an entire video of me washing the car. I am going to show you some clips um, and then of course at the end to see how it turned out. But we're going to go through some of the steps that you need to take or that I took um, to get the ONR ready to wash your vehicle. So let's get started. Now, um, where I live, I don't have any water restrictions um, that would prevent me from doing a traditional wash. It's just, you know, it's the winter time, it's cold, and of course, I just don't want to waste water either. So, I am not here to promote um, Optimum No Rinse, but I am here to put it to the test to see how it actually works versus a normal car washing method. Now, just to note, I do have a ceramic coating applied to my vehicle. I have a 9H layer, which is a almost like a factory clear coat. And then I have a hydrophobic coat over that, which is a light ceramic coat uh, made by Ceramic Pro. And that hydrophobic coat is supposed to help the ease of washing vehicles and really to prevent you having to scrub the vehicle down to remove any dust or contaminants that are on the vehicle. So what this ONR product is supposed to do is actually encapsulate the dirt as you apply it to the vehicle so that you're not actually rubbing that dirt across the vehicle, um, adding into scratches and, and swirl marks and things like that. So we're going to go ahead and put this thing to the test and see how it actually works and see if this method of washing um, does do a better job or at least a decent job that you would want to continue to use this product. So what I would also like is some participation. So folks, for the Tesla community, comment down below. Let me know 
and let our viewers know what you are doing and how you're washing your vehicle um, so that we can provide tips and, and just a, a little bit of knowledge to the community to see if there's anything out, out there that um, is better than you own our product or something similar um, or even just a method that you use or take to wash your Tesla Model 3. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and walk around the car because it is absolutely not clean. I have not yet hand washed this vehicle, which is another reason I really wanted to try this product because I don't mind washing the car, um, but here in winter it gets a little bit more difficult and I don't have um, a big enough really garage or drain in my garage to actually go ahead and wash this thing or a heated garage on top of that. So, you know, what I'd like to do is just walk around the car, show you that it is actually dirty and the only method that I have cleaned this car thus far is by taking it through a touchless car wash. Um, I never really liked a brush car wash um, as those bristles and those washing mats that, um, you know, smack against your car are full of other cars, you know, dirt and grime. So, you know, you want to try and eliminate that as much as possible because I definitely think you will add swirls and, and other issues to your paint should you do that. So when I, when I can, I do hand wash my vehicles um, in a traditional method with a big bucket of soap and water and a wash mitt and I just go to town. Um, but I'm trying to be a little more um, cautious on this uh, vehicle just because of the paint. Um, but again, I do have a Ceramic Pro coating on top of it, so I'm not critically worried about it. Um, but for those of you who did not get your car ceramic coated, maybe this is an option for you. So let's go through the steps and the processes of what okay, we're going to do so um, after I pan around. You can see there are a lot of water spots on the vehicle. And um, let me just show you how dirty the bottom of the car actually is. And really, the worst part is probably the back end. Let me get down here and show you how dirty this thing is. And I hate driving it like this. Uh, but sometimes there's just not enough time in the day to get through everything that you need to get through. But I did want to show... Um, there you go. Look at that. Dirty, dirty, dirty. And what the idea is, is to, you know, start from the top of the vehicle and work your way down um, so that when you do this, you are actually, actually encapsulating that dirt um, into the O&R product and allowing that product to do its job. You can see how dirty. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that so you don't think I'm washing a clean car by any means. And again, I'm not here to promote the product, just trying to show the community um, some products that they may want to use or you may want to use um, to wash your car. And again, oh, yeah, that happened today on the way to church. Yuck. We're going to see if we can get that off as well. Um, and products that you guys are using out there um, to help clean your Model 3. So what I have here, folks, is I have two buckets, and we're going to use a two-bucket method. I have one bucket here that is going to be our wash bucket with a grit guard in the bottom of it, and then I have another bucket here uh, with a grit guard would be our rinse bucket. And I have a bunch of microfiber cloths, but I have this special microfiber cloth, and I don't know what the actual number is as it relates to its softness um, but this is actually a drying towel and what you're supposed to do with this application is do this section at a time and once you are done washing that section you are supposed to go ahead and dry it off right away now you're not supposed to apply a lot of pressure either in the wash process or the drying process um, this way you're not rubbing anything into the paint but obviously you're going to have to put some kind of pressure to get things dry but uh, that's what we're going to use for the drying and then I have a microfiber mitt um, that we're going to use for the wash process. Now before you tune away from the video I'm not going to make you watch me wash this vehicle um, from top to bottom. I'm going to go ahead and get this time lapsed um, and then we'll look at the end result and see how good it actually cleaned. So let's get started folks. So I have the optimum no rinse and um, I have two buckets as I mentioned earlier and I put two gallons of water in each bucket. Now the rinse bucket you could probably fill up as much as you want um, in it 
it just really depends on what you want to do enough to get in there and make sure that you can rinse your mitt or whatever you know it is that you're using um, and then in here I did fill it up as accurately as I could to two gallons now with the optimum no rinse it says that for every um, two gallons of water you need one ounce and um, what they did it which was pretty cool is they actually made these into this cap into a half ounce um, cap so what we need to do here is just fill this up twice one two and what we're going to do is we're going to let that sit in here for a little bit until it gets its, its mixture up and, and everything like that and we can swish it around but here's my wash mitt that I'm going to use and I'm going to go ahead and just let that sit in here and uh, let it soak up um, those properties of the O&R um, so when we do go ahead and wash the car we actually have the O&R product uh, fully um, engaged throughout the microfiber of this uh, of this wash mitt so yeah there you have it let's get this thing washed and see how it turns out I'm, I'm excited I'm hopeful that this is a method that we can use moving forward again look at two buckets of water um, we're not wasting a bunch of water and actually where I'm at I'm on a community well so I have to have uh, my water soften and what that does the salt that I use to soften the water leaves some really really bad um, spots on the car and it's always a pain in the butt to try and keep clean so hopefully this is another method that I can use here uh, moving forward so I don't have to sit there and rinse the car and hurry up and try and dry it before it um, it does dry. There's one more element that I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit differently than what most people are doing is I have this spray bottle and if you're going to use something like this they recommend that you do it like 256 to 1 but what I want to do is before I start rubbing this on and start pushing the dirt around I just wanted to go ahead and like almost pre-soak it per se and get the O&R on, on the car and let it do its work before I go ahead and start wiping it. So let's go ahead and start with that first. And I'm just going to dump my bottle right into my, my wash bottle here. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to bore you guys with doing the rest of the car. Um, I just wanted to show you the difference um, that has taken place between the existing dirt on the car and the O&R side of the car. Um, and it looks actually pretty good. And I just wanted to give you a perspective on how nice and shiny uh, the car is now. Again, I have Ceramic Coating Pro with a hydrophobic light coat on top. Um, and actually, it, it did pretty well. Um, I'm not crazy about the way I have to dry the car off um, so quickly. And it, it just looked a little awkward today um, as I was doing that. And it could be because it is chilly. Um, it's about 35 degrees out here by me. But, um, you know, again, O&R appeared to do a pretty fair job. I don't see any streak marks anywhere. Um, it pretty much covered, I'm sorry, it pretty much took up all the dirt that I had on these panels. So, yeah, so is it, is it, a, is it a worthy car washing product I mean now I don't know I mean I think it did a very good job or a fair job I'm not an auto detailer by any means but uh, it appeared to come out okay I don't think I uh, added any swirl marks or scratches into the paint but I'm gonna go ahead and finish washing the car and um, let you guys know what the end result is but I think you could see here very easy um, 
method to washing the car. It looks good. We have completed washing the car and I'll take you around to show you what it looks like. It actually looks pretty good considering actually it was dirty and a lot of the dirt I hope it did pick up on camera um, but it was even dirtier than I thought when I started washing it. So let's take a look at the car. Again, not a professional um, detailer. I probably did some mistakes which I'll hear you guys comment down below on but that's okay. So this is, it's just a car. It doesn't matter how you wash it. I just wanted to present this as an option for you and to see if it really is viable. I, there's a ton of videos out there on o r and most of them are by detailers either promoting the product um, for a for monetization or whatever it is but um, this is just me using a product to see if it actually meets the needs but also to get you viewers involved to see what you all are doing for your um, wash methods whether it's your model 3 or whatever car it is to see if there is a um, a better solution out there that we can share with the community so let's take a look around the car and see what we have okay so here it is folks um, again there's some there's some streaks that are still drying um, my dry towel I probably should have had two of them um, but I did only have one um, next time I wash I will definitely take a note of that but yeah there it is um, fairly clean and I'm sure somebody's gonna say hey Jerry you wiped the wrong way or you did this the wrong or that wrong but again I'm just trying to get the car clean um, Thankfully, I didn't have any salt or anything on it. It's just been raining here mostly. But it looks pretty good. Nice and shiny. I don't see a whole lot of swirl marks. Now, I didn't take a flashlight and uh, look at the paint that closely. But the back end was the worst. And uh, you can see the nice shine coming through on it. And it uh, looks pretty clean. Uh, we're going to talk about that logo in another video. So yeah, so let me know what you think. Um, if you used a product before, comment down below. Uh, let me know what I did wrong or what your expectations were when you washed the car and what your final results were. And um, you know, share with the community. But again, the owner Optimum Rinse, it was easy. I don't have water all over the place. My floor is actually pretty dry minus a couple of spots. Um, so that was nice. Um, I didn't have to drag out the hose or any of that so it does look like it did a fairly decent job okay so there you have it folks there is the car wash with the optimum no rinse car wash and shine and you know overall i think it looks fairly good but again remember i told you guys that i have a ceramic coating on this which does make it a little bit easier to wash but nonetheless i still think the car actually turned out quite beautifully um, and it was easy right no water mess no nothing um, no dragging out the hose any of those issues but um, again I'm not here to promote the product I really just wanted to see how it worked and was hoping that I can engage you guys um, to see what methods you're using and what products you're using to wash your car um, by hand um, and not adding any additional score marks or um, issues to the paint now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the buckets of water after completing the wash. Now I actually had to add one more gallon and a half ounce of ONR uh, to the mix because it was just getting so dirty and I just I didn't want to um, continue to put that dirty water on top of it. So what are you guys doing for that? Because it just doesn't make sense. It almost like I would need like four buckets. Now maybe my car was um, a little dirtier than um, you would want it to be to use the ONR product, um, but I don't know. Um, from everything that I've read and understood is that you can wash the car no matter how dirty it is, but but with that being said, I think that you would need to have a little bit of adjustments to the method um, for your wash um, if it is really dirty, like maybe three buckets or, you know, change out the bucket midway through because I probably um, should have done that a little sooner than I did. But anyway, um, let's go back and show you what these buckets look like. Here is my dirty bucket and it is dirty. Um, you know, some of this stuff is coming off of the, that you see on the edge here, is coming off of the wash mitt. Um, you know, the little bit of lint or whatever, but uh, yeah, pretty dirty regardless. And then here is my clean bucket, um, which is still fairly dirty. Um, nowhere near as dirty as a dirty bucket, of course, hence the word dirty bucket. But I did have to add one more gallon and a half ounce of ONR to it just to make it, um, you know, through the rest of the car wash. So, yeah, so anyway, there, folks.
Okay, so there you have it, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. And please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe um, to the channel for more future videos. But please don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what you're using and what you're doing for your car washing methods and uh, share with the community. We truly appreciate it. Have a great day.